So I went in to meet in with uh, Brett Deborah, and they, he decided to prank me and pretend he doesn't know me. So it just hurts. It hurts. It hurts where it beats. But uh, what can you do? You know, when you're Mr. Popular, you know, everyone wants to prank you and be your friend. So what can you do? You know what I mean? Just I'm just too popular sometimes. You know, I can't help it. I just, I have that effect on people where they want to be more than themselves. You know what I mean? They want to be this other person. Hey man, Mr. Popular, you gotta live with it. You gotta live with it. You know what I mean? I'm the first in eternal life to be this popular. Right? Um, Atlantis and Jesus, they were good educators, but they weren't popular. Right, people didn't want to be their friends. They want to learn from them, but they didn't want to be their friends. Me, every day, man, it hurts. They hurt me, man. I'm in so much pain. They hurt me out here, man. I had to walk all the way home feeling ashamed of myself, feeling embarrassed. Man, that's the life right there, man. Like college, high school, you feeling embarrassed about yourself. That's the life, man. That's when you know you have friends. When they embarrass the heck out of you. You know what I mean? But, um... It was a, it was a good prank. I give it one star out of five. I give it one star out of five. He could have done better. Um... He could have made it obvious. Alright? Like, it's in your face. And you can't do anything about it. Right, he kind of hit it. He's like, I don't know who you are. Right? I don't know who you are, men. I don't know who you are, men. Make it obvious. Um, because it's like it's like a joke that doesn't land. Right, you're telling this joke and you think it's funny. But then you drag it on for so long, it just doesn't land. You want it to land immediately. The joke. Right? When I was talking to him, it got too serious. It was no more, it was no longer a joke. It's just, I got bored with it. So I started asking questions about art. I mean, he's still a professor. So I got bored with the joke and I'm like, I'm just going to ask about art while I'm here. Because I'm, I'm still writing a book and some scripts. So I just asked him about art. And he said, don't worry about the purpose. Because that's my problem. I'm like, I won't start something if I don't know the purpose of it. All right. And he's like, just worry about the craft. And don't worry so much about the purpose. Because it gets you stuck. When you worry about the purpose, it gets you stuck. So I was like, that's good advice. So the joke doesn't land as much. You want to make it more obvious. Like, I don't know who you are, men. Um, have you seen the self-portraits here, um, of the students? Um, you know, um, make it more obvious so that the joke immediately lands. You don't want to go, oh, 20 years later, oh, I got the joke. What kind of joke is that? You want the joke to land immediately. So it was a decent prank. I give it a half star. Honestly, like, because it's scary to, to, to prank, you know, up here. So I give it a half star for effort. But um, for the joke itself, it just, it's not a full star. Because um, with my jokes, I, I, I tell you what it is. And... And I know you can't get there because you're not smart enough. But I tell you what it is. Right? I, I don't... Um, like, I do tell you. Right? It's like... It's, it's your idiocy that didn't get it. As opposed to me withholding information. I don't withhold any, any information. I tell you everything. But I know you're not smart enough to get there. That's the difference. Um, 
So it was a good prank. And I know um, I probably pissed them off and they they want to do it themselves. Okay with me. That's your, it's your life. I don't control your life, right? If you're like men, no, we want to do this ourselves. Go have fun. It's like, like all my life because I'm so popular, like people push me away because I'm so popular. They do do this, you know? So I'm used to it. I'm like, okay, I'll just be Mr. Popular somewhere else. You know, like you, you do you, you do your thing. <laughs> So Lucinda and Dan Castor retired. I didn't know that. It's been like twelve years. Um, yeah. So Brett was like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't remember you." I'm like, "Oh, I'm in." And like, what happened to my college application? He's like, "Oh, we don't deal with college applications. You want to talk to the registrar's office?" And I was like, "Okay." So what about art? Um, because you know, I I was I took three years here. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of stuck. I'm, I'm no longer painting and now I'm writing. Like, what's that about? Like, what do you see? And he told his story where he started out painting as well. And then he got kind of pulled into other avenues and he landed on typography. So it's one of those things where you know, you, you might think this is where you want at the beginning as a young student, but life will pull you around and you end up somewhere else. So don't, as a student, don't go, this is my major, this is what I'm going to do, and don't do that. This is your major now. And you use those skills to do something else. All right, don't go, this is my major, this is what I am, I'm a medical student, I'm nothing else. Don't do that. You studied medicine, but medicine could be good in art, could be good in architecture, it could be good elsewhere. Don't don't let life take you to other avenues. Don't get so stuck on this is where it has to be, and this is my first choice, this is my first love, this is my first kiss, this is my first favorite color. No, let life change you. Cause you're always growing up, so you always change. So let life change you. So, so that's what I learned from, um, from Brett today, um, to, to don't get stuck on, oh, I was a painter, so I should be, I should be painting. Um, yes, you always have that to go back to, but if your interest goes elsewhere, let it, let it go there. All right. So Brett was like, keep writing. Um, you don't need to know a purpose. You just. Just keep writing for the craft of writing. Um, so yeah, that that's pretty much it.